Well, here we are with another preseason waterfowl hunting video here at Freelance Duck Hunting. I got a ton of videos coming out this preseason. All sorts of different stuff. Here's the playlist for everything that I've done so far. These are going to be coming out. Better stop, it's a red. Someone needs to stop at red lights. My gosh, he's going to kill us. <laughs> so, anyway. Today, we are heading up to pick up our new mud motor, and we decided to go with the Go Devil 35 horsepower surface drive. And so we're heading up, we're gonna grab that. This video will end with us actually testing it out, getting it on the water, and playing around with it. So I thought on this video, we would just do a little bit of talking about the history of um, our motors and what we've used, some of the things that have happened and why we decided to go with the go devil 35 horsepower so we're excited about it we're excited about this transition do you remember the first time that we saw yep. a mud a mud motor you want to tell talk about that yep. and all that in i remember i remember it very clearly in my memory it was actually kind of slow motion yeah. You give your impression and I'll give mine. So around 90, 91, we had never heard of or seen a long tail or any type of mud motor at all. And we actually saw our first one out on a duck hunt. So we, we were sitting in the cattails there along this channel and all of a sudden we heard this engine putting along. Uh, it wasn't going high, full blast or anything, it was just putting along. And we looked and it came right past us and up front there was this beautiful Chesapeake Bay Retriever and back behind there was these two old veterans. I remember one guy, I remember him distinctly, he was really cool looking. Probably an old Vietnam vet. Yeah, he had kind of gray hair, this gray beard and in my mind he looked super cool. I saw that thing and I said I have got to have one of those. What is it? Where can I get it? And so that led me to Go Devil. And so when this guy came cruising along with his long shaft, I mean, in my mouth, I remember just like, yeah. I mean, it was like something we had never, something out of a, a dream we to were, see that long we tail. We were in love. Yeah, we were in love. So turns out that those long tails, the reason they ended up in America is because the guys when they went over to Vietnam they saw the Vietnamese using these long shaft motors and Warren Coco Warren Coco from Go Devil some guy asked him he said hey I saw this motor over in Vietnam can you make it for me and so then that's what started all these mud motors coming over so without the Vietnam was probably the best thing that ever came the only good thing that ever came out of the Vietnam War is Go Devil and long shafts and mud motors it looked like maybe a little 10 horse or something it was small but it was getting the job done 14 foot boat something like that yeah i had never seen or heard of such a thing before however there were people around that had them but i had just never seen it and mm -hmm. didn't know a thing about it and so uh go devil was the only that was the only name there was. The only name in we town. we didn't call them long tails. We just called them go devils. Yeah. That's what everyone called them. Was just yeah. you have a go devil. Yeah. It wasn't like today where there was lots of them. It was just like that was that 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 motor was called a go devil. Yeah. At that time. So. What well, that would have been about 92, 93? Somewhere in there. Yeah. Well, yeah. we went up maybe ninety four. So what was the first motor that that you picked up? Because I was at college at this time, and you were doing a lot of your hunting without me. Yeah. It was a twenty horse. Uh, long tail I don't know if it was a Vanguard or Kohler but it was whatever it was go made Devil by go yeah using. yeah but uh, yeah so it was a 20 horse so how long um, did you have that go devil motor that long shaft uh, it was a while uh, remember the thing that got me thinking I needed more was that we go went on the Kansas River one day we were all loaded up and here come some guys with a bigger engine and they just flew past us. Yeah, now did they have a surface drive? Yeah, well, no, no, it was a long tail. It was probably about a 35 horse. 
because it was a big motor. Well, those long tails are really, really difficult on the steering. Yeah. I mean, if you've had a surface drive, I know that Josh and Titus are just getting uh, from Mid Valley and Outdoor Limits are just getting the surface drives in there. Okay. And so they were just commenting on how difficult that is even with those because they'd never driven one oh, before. Okay. But yeah. the long tails are very, very difficult to handle. So you had the long tail, you saw a bigger long tail yeah. and you upgraded to another long tail? No, uh, but I got to looking around and, and I did discover that they were building uh, big surface drives to so then is that when you picked up the surface drive yeah well, yes uh, so I discovered I discovered that uh, they were building them even you know like they, they were 35 horse and then they were soup my buddy was souping them up and so at that time there was a lot more of competitors yeah. with go devil and she yeah. went with a long tail oh. for like 10 years yeah yeah we had it a long time the surface drive you picked up oh man there's something going on here thought you were getting pulled over for uh, talking doing a video while well, uh, driving I, I didn't even know he was behind me until he put that well if you don't see red lights you probably aren't gonna see a cop coming up behind you you didn't even pull over he wanted me to get over he should have pulled over you over I yeah I know jerk I didn't hear well, him I didn't see well, him. be paying attention you upgraded to the mud buddy yeah, I 45 want, horsepower yeah I wanted to be able to get out on a big river I wanted to get out on a big lake as well as a, as a marsh yeah and so and I have a little more power to it yeah and I so I went to that 18 foot uh, weld build which is the one we still have yeah and and I bought this souped up 45 horse yep. I forget exactly it was a black death it was uh, Looking little motor, I gotta say. Pump the gas a little bit. Huh? Pump the gas a little bit. Kill switch is not on. Kill switch isn't on. Kill switch isn't in. Oh, yeah, I won't start with a kill switch. Same problem, new motor. This has happened before. <laughs> Let me encourage you to go back and watch all of our videos and see how many times. This I'll happens. show you a clip right here. Three separate batteries are not working. <sighs> and this one I just hooked up is brand new. Well, hold on. Well, something's got to be wrong. You have to charge it before is, you use it. Hold on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There you go. Uh, you didn't even need to change any of the batteries around at all. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> 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 
we changed out three batteries one time because of the kill switch. Yeah. There was the kill switch! Next thing is to get it on. The last part of this video is going to be running it on the water. So we got to get the flooring in and we're going to run it on the water in a couple days. This is the last little bit you're going to see of this video from us getting the motor to mounting it and all that crap. Now we're out at the lake and we've actually been motoring around. And here it is. And we've got ourselves clear back in this smart weed bed here. What are your thoughts after using the motor a little bit? What do you think? Uh, well, I'm, I'm hopeful that it's going to be very dependable. It doesn't have the power of our 40, 45 horse that we had. Yeah. Before. So, you know, size wise, we went from a 45 to a 35. So it's a little bit less horsepower than our last one. But 16 miles an hour, we'll take that. You know, this is an 1854 boat. So it's a big boat. So we're happy with it. Well, Put her on out of here. Wake up and raise your head. Lord's gonna raise you from the dead.